Alright everyone, so Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon is coming out pretty soon. The good news is you will be able to breed with your Sun and Moon game for any of the new Pokemon that you want. So I got a lot of my 2015 Pokemon that, you know, they don't have our Clover or Plus Mark, so I'm going to rebreed them so that way I can use them in Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. Um, let's see here. I'm gonna do an Angie Slash. Yeah, I'm gonna do an Angie Slash. Do a modest Angie Slash. So, I have a large amount of dittos on standby. But, I'll show you how I go ahead and get dittos. You can get them legitimately through the game or you can go online to one of the boards get a hack six perfect ditto or a zero speed ditto and that's what most people do uh, the easiest way to get a legitimate one will be chaining so I'll go through that real quick I have a I have capture team I have my uh, shiny butterfree from the start of one of my I think my sun game this is my moon and then I use Buzzwolf just because I like the looks of him for my Buzzwolf Swiper. So, go ahead and show you how I go go about getting Dittos. So in general, Dittos are all in the same location. And you need a chain, I think like 20, 25 of them. So around there to get five perfect dittos, or actually four. I think I think the highest you get is four, and then after four, you just are rolling for the rain two. So you're gonna find dittos in the grass down here. You're also gonna need an adrenaline orb. So we'll try to find a ditto real quick. I'll show you the basic of how I chain it. Then I'll go back with some of my actual dittos. Breeding breeding's fairly easy, especially in these newer games. It doesn't take me long at all to actually be able to uh, to breed. I mean, if you're gonna start from chaining, then it's going to take you a little bit longer. So here's a ditto. So I'm gonna go ahead and pulse swipe it. It'll transform. Uh, if you don't want it to transform, I like sometimes I like using Brulume, and I'll just substitute, and then it can't transform. But then it'll just kill itself. Okay, so yeah, 30, 30 cha a chain of thirty guarantees you four perfect, and then you're just lucking out for anything more. Alright, so it, go, it went ahead and, and called the other ditto. So I usually just kill the uh, the one ditto. So you, so you go back and forth. Um, you can use multiple Pokemon. Ditto has a fairly decent call rate. I'll look at that for a sec here. And it's always just going to call other dittos. So you don't have to worry about it. And then once you have a short moment, you just use Adrenaline Orb. Great. It's the only issue with uh, accidentally letting it. They're tougher to kill, but. Alright, so our ditto call rate. It's a pretty good call rate. So we got a new ditto. We'll just kill this ditto. So that's that's something else you can do. You can just kill one of the dittos. 
Um, if you're gonna chain anything that like is a little bit harder, you want to um, you want to set up extra Pokemon, and you also want to count up the PP they use. So for that example, I chained myself a shiny uh, Beldum, which is a horrible idea since it has the uh, I <laughs> it's the hardest Pokemon to capture in the game, uh, even compared to the legendaries. So Beldum has a capture rate of three, while uh, I think most of the legendaries in this game has like five or ten. So Beldum is actually harder to catch in this game than legendaries. So I had to go on with dark types. Oh, not dark type. I used the Gengar or whatever to make sure it couldn't kill itself with uh, with takedown. It's also worth noting that you can uh, count how many Pokemon you KO with Buzzwall by his ability well, once you get to 6. So I've used that before, especially during EV training. I uh, just look for how many he actually has. So like, I just click on this. I'm like, okay, well, he has two defense ups. So that means that you know I've KO'd two Pokemon since. Now Transform does have like 10 PP, so if you do the substitute, just keep that in mind, so that way you don't accidentally uh, let him KO himself. So we have another Ditto. Go ahead and just... I got accidentally poisoned. You're also going to get the hidden ability Dittos. Um, after a chain of uh, 10, you got like 5% chance. Once you hit 30, you got a 15% chance. Um, I've seen the hidden power ones used every so often. Which they're decent. Uh, you can always have an advantage if you have if you if you know what you're sending it into. So like if you keep it in the back, or sometimes if somebody has like a very uh, easy lead that you always know they're gonna probably use. Like if they're gonna use Tapu Lele and Drifflim, you could always lead one in and it messes with them hardcore if you if you transform into them. But you got low HP and it's kind of Kind of a risk. All right, so I'm sure you guys are tired of me just uh, going ahead and chaining this. I'll capture this one, and then uh, we'll use an actual ditto that I have. I have I actually had dittos since like. Emerald, Pokemon Emerald. It's like third generation, like the original. <laughs> so, uh, this Butterfree has the wide lens, well, not wide lens, but the compound eyes, so it, so sleep patterns like 90% accurate or 99% accurate. When I was playing through the game, I only missed sleep powder once, and like Butterfree was like my main Pokemon the whole time. Okay, it's dead. So that would have ended my chain, but uh, like I was saying, I don't 
really care about these dittos. I already have everything I need, so we'll go ahead and we're gonna fly down to the readers. Alright, something else you're gonna need, you guys are gonna need Destiny Knots and an Everstone. In Sun and Moon, they give you the Destiny Knot. Let's see here, I'll check where it actually is given. I have multiple games, so I have multiple Destiny Knots, but this doesn't really help at all. So Destiny Knot, make sure that you have four moves that pass on, which isn't bad. Um, it allows you to breed more quickly in this game, and then besides for that, it doesn't, uh, sorry, mosquito, but, uh, it doesn't let you do anything, like, unlike the other games where you would use power items and only get, like, one, Destiny Knot allows you to get four every single time, so it can take four from one Pokemon, or it can take one from each, yeah, I mean, so, let's see, this ditto is not the best, so this ditto is everything but for speed, but I'm going to actually do a modest, uh, modest energy slash with 31 speed, so the only stat that I don't care about will be uh, attack, so I have a quiet one here, so you see that this one's good for being a quiet one, uh, this one yeah, so this is, I had the same thing before. So we have that. So I'm starting off at a way higher start to it. Let's see here, do I have a, this one's brave. So this this will actually end really quick for me. I got, I got Destiny out here, six perfect ditto. Um, so you go ahead and put an Everstone on. Whatever Pokemon you want to keep, the ability or the nature, you put an Everstone on it. And you're more likely to get both. Now the, uh, I like to go, if, if we're doing an ability, then I'll breed for the ability and the nature at the same time. Usually, well, I'll do the, I'll do the nature first and then go worry about the ability. But as I mean, just the same stuff. I'm gonna probably redo another video for Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, just because like it's easier. Uh, there's also some other methods. So this is this is like this is just like the easy. All oh, the like I have two good Pokemon that I can just breed, and I just want it in this generation. So I mean, this will take me maybe like two or three rounds of eggs versus if I had if I was starting off new I would probably I might do the time machine method which I'll show you here in a second well I don't know if I have two uh, magic carps what you do for the time machine method is it's also a good way to breed for shinies is you put two magic carps in with different IVs in every single stat at level one and then you breed them because they actually breed much, much faster than anything else. If you really want to go fast, get two from a uh, from, from two different games of magic with Magikarp. Go ahead and just breed them. They breed really fast. The eggs will hatch really fast. And if you get a shiny, you can go back, and w whatever egg it is will still be the same egg, and it will still spread the same. IVs as long as you're using a Destiny on Everstone. And it doesn't matter which of the two you're using. Like if you if you're putting the Everstone on the male or Everstone on the female, or if you're putting the Destiny on the male, the Destiny on the female, it doesn't matter. So that's that's how the time machine method works. It's it's very popular among VGC players who want to play legitimately and still have shinies. Is you use the time machine method. Another method which is cool is the RNG method. So you you would have to give your one Pokemon up to somebody who uh who can hack or whatever else. 
because you need your secret ID, which you can't calculate your secret ID legitimately, but you can also, uh, but you can calculate your egg seed legitimately. It just takes a while. Uh, there's whole other videos on that. And if you calculate your egg seed and you have your secret ID, you can predict when you're going to have shinies and you can reject and accept a certain amount of eggs in order to get shinies, which is nice, I mean. So this is like the boring part of breeding here. I go ahead, you know, you always want something with a uh, with flame body on it, so that way it helps hatch your eggs. That's magma armor also works. So you don't have to just do flame body. And you just run around in this little spot here. Okay, so Destiny Knot, um, you get the Royal Avenue. Um, so, Sun and Moon's actually pretty bad about like getting points at the beginning. So, at the beginning, I just did the Royal Avenue and I uh, did my in game teams. And you just. And you just fight a little bit until you get enough points to get a destiny on, and then you start breeding, and then you can go from there. Or you can, you know, import some teams from your older games and use them. That's actually probably the best method if you need points. Uh, in Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, they're going to have the Mana Time Surf as the points you need for the Move Tutors, so that will help. Um, they'll probably still have something for the points you know like some battling points or whatever so there's the first one I might actually breed a shiny one for like VGC play I'm just, I'm just breeding an initial one uh, just because I uh, I'll probably use them in some of the first tournaments. There's some there's some interesting stuff with the Angel Slash. Uh, the reason I'm doing modest over quiet is because his Z move with Shadow Ball Oko's other Angel Slashes in shield form. Well if they're in shield form. So you so you automatically Oko theirs and if they decide to King Shield that turn you do like 90% damage to them. So even if the king shield, they're pretty much in a bad position where anything that touches it next turn is going to kill it. So that's why I'm going to do a modest one. I think that uh, I think things are going to get stupid <laughs> in 2018 and uh, I think timid I think timid AG slashes will be a thing this uh this upcoming 2018. Because the timid one still okos the uh, the shield form, and besides for that, you uh, you pretty much can oko a lot with shadow ball. What well, will Z shadow ball? You got one more egg. Now there's also some calcs. But uh, Destiny, Destiny not kind of removes them a little bit. But like, if you have one Pokemon with uh, with an HP stat that you're trying to pass on, then you have one sixteenth chance to pass it on. But if you have two Pokemon with that HP stat, then you have a one in eight. Uh, attack starts off as a attack. Both of them attack and special attack starts off as a one in four. So if you if both Pokemon have a 31, then you get one and two. Uh, defenses are one and eight. So if you have two with the same 31s or whatever you want to pass, it's one and four. Um, speed. I'd like to say speed's one and four to start with, and then it's one and two. So it makes sweepers the easiest ones to uh, to grade. You can also notice that I get the egg moves fast along. All right, so this one you can see it's uh, it's only missing speed. This is missing special defense. Uh, this is missing defense. This one's <laughs> missing special attack. So 
So I'd have to breed another round, and I already know that the ones I have in there are the uh, are the most perfect things to breed with. So usually I just release these or whatever. Uh, this can take a while. I mean, so you can see that it's usually four. The other one, the other one is kind of luck slash. Um, yeah, it's really luck. I mean, you get, you get your auto passes. Another one to kind of just pass along to. I would always use five perfects in this uh, in this meta, so like my uh, Flygon. And if if you're really bad about breeding, you can always hyper train. I'm, I always hyper train my legends. I mean, you you get three perfect stats, and the other ones you just hyper train. Now this is that uh, that Beldum I caught. It didn't have perfect special defense and perfect speed, so it went ahead and hyper trained it. I mean. <laughs> the seeking. Um, that's and that's just how you easily do stuff. Uh, these ones aren't really used, so you know if they're used, then I have to trim. So there's well, there's one magic carp. I have a shiny one that I chained for. Chaining for shinies can be fun, but I mean it's not a, a really good chance they'll be competitive. But uh, if you're if you're doing for if you get the nature right, then you can always just hyper train it unless you need a zero. That'd be the only issue. So the easiest way to chain for them, you have something with synchronize and you have that fifty percent chance. So you need the synchronizer out there so you can have it for every single one that comes about. Uh, sometimes you get shinies way quicker. Same with the four perfects. Oh, did I not put that data back in there? Yeah, sometimes I do that. I'll just run back out <laughs> and not uh not put the ditto back in the daycare. To read up a whole team for me nowadays takes maybe uh maybe a day. I mean, I could read it up and then I can also train it up within like a couple hours. It's not too bad if you want to do it legitimately. I breed all of mine legitimately and you know, I catch all my legends. Though uh, I recently, <laughs> instead of just catch, well, like now since you only have to catch for nature and you don't have to like get six perfect legends anymore or any of that horrible, horrible stuff of the past so you know that they're always going to be three perfect. Unless you're aiming for a zero, uh, you just put your synchronizer up and you just keep on catching your legend or whatever. But I uh, I try to get I try to mash the Pokeball to the uh, to the legend nowadays. Uh, which reminds me, maybe maybe uh maybe if I'm gonna do a shiny shiny one, I'll try to pass on a, a better Pokeball than the actual Pokeball for uh, Angel Slash here. So your females usually pass on the balls. Uh, I don't know what kind of Pokeball would, would look best with uh, with the Angie Slash. I mean, it's not that heavy, but I mean, a heavy ball would look pretty cool. I think I, I like just kind of matching up the color scheme for uh, for him. So I think I think Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon will have Angie Slash being able to be caught. I think between Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, you should be able to get almost every Pokemon in the game. So like. Oh, like 700 something or 800. We're around, we're around 800, right? So, uh, yeah, I think I think I'd like a heavy ball, or maybe a luxury ball. I really like the look of luxury balls. A luxury ball would probably look pretty good with a black angel slash. Yeah, I think a, I think a luxury ball would probably look, look best. Tanner ball could also be pretty cool, but a luxury ball would probably probably be one I want. I was kind of disappointed that you could only get like one of some of the balls here in uh, in Ultra Sun, Ultra, uh, in Sun and Moon. So like the level ball and the heavy ball, you only got like one. Um, which also reminds me, I don't think uh, I don't think you could get Beldum in a heavy ball. Was it Beldum? Yeah, I'm pretty sure Beldum you couldn't get in a heavy ball, or like it was nearly impossible to do it. I have mine in a uh, timer ball, but uh, pretty sure heavy ball 
Let's see here, the heavy ball is a Pokeball from Curve, blah blah blah, has a unique capture. It does not uh, multiply, but adds or subtracts value. Its value is determined by the weight. Uh, we care about, okay. So, you get minus 30 for under 220 pounds. Uh, plus 20 for anything more than 451, so it's neutral for anything under that. Oh, well, hundred gold, uh, hundred gold soul silver. Oh, that's probably what we want to actually go with. So let's see here. Yeah, under four, four hundred and fifty-one pounds minus twenty. If it weighs more than four hundred fifty-one pounds plus twenty. If it weighs more than six hundred seventy-seven plus thirty over nine hundred plus four hundred. So I think Beldum like hardly weighs anything, like maybe a hundred pounds. So I don't think it. So I think that's why it doesn't work with uh, trying to get him in Sun and Moon with it. And besides for that, his capture rate's like ungodly horrible. So it's so like for Veldum, it'd be much easier just to breed the Shining than like I decided horribly to uh, go ahead and try to capture him. It says that if you get like the hidden ability, you'd have to like ability capsule it because like the light metal would be horrible. So yeah, Beldum weighs 209 pounds, so like the heavy, the heavy ball would never work that well on him. It would be negative, so that's why you can't get him with it. So if you see like a shiny Metagross with a heavy ball, not legitimate. Well, uh, maybe you could get the let's see here. Maybe you could do Metatang. Metatang is 446. So, yeah. Metatang you could, as long as it's not, uh, as long as it's not light metal ability, you should be able to do Metatang. You just can't do Beldum. Uh, I think Beldum does call Metatangs every so often. I'd have to look here. Um, if you guys ever wonder, like, what to use for, uh, For like Pokemon info, I always just use Survey. Survey is probably like the best thing ever to use. Uh, yep. So Beldum doesn't call any mana tanks, but you can like do cool things in like SOS Chain A Salamence, which is really cool. I did that once. I caught them in a beast ball because I thought that was cool. I like beast balls, they look really awesome. Even though they only have like the capture rate of a Pokeball. <laughs> if you guys are watching this, um, you can tell me what you want from like other videos or like other breeding methods. If you want me to actually go over the uh, time machine method, I can probably do that. Um, I've been fairly busy with school. I finished up my biology degree like this summer. And then um, doing like two years of nursing degree, then about a year of work, and then I'm going to apply for med school. So I've been super busy lately with tests and lab papers and studying for the MCAT and stuff like that. But I'm also a pro chronic procrastinator, so and that's pretty bad too. Uh, and then I've been, I'm a TO too now, so I host tournaments and then I uh, have multiple school clubs that I'm a part of, so I just get really swamped. With uh, with my time, and sometimes I just want a little bit to relax. So today has been my like, my lazy day. I've been watching like season three of like Rick and Morty and stuff like that. I mean, did a did a batch of laundry, did some dishes and stuff like that. Normal like housekeeping stuff. So I mean, it's uh, it's been good. If any of you guys are planning to go to college or currently in college, um, really recommend you not doing like four hard sciences in the uh, in the same semester. That is not is not fun. I uh, that was an unwise decision. 
It's very rough. So, that's where all my hours are going. I still have time to play. I should make it to Worlds this year. I have uh, one mid-season win. That's like all I have. I'm planning to go to a bunch of regionals since we have infinite regionals this year. So I just need to play some one. My buddy Greg, I helped make his team, and he took fourth up in um, like, like Toronto, Canada, or Canada, this last regionals. So that was pretty cool. Uh, he had the Murko team. Because uh, after after Jeremy won, we wanted to make sure that like we could just hard stomp uh, EV teams. So that's that's what that's for. Um, I'm gonna have some videos come out pretty soon with me battling in the online tournament with some of my buddies. Uh, and you can hear me talk through. My, I always talk to myself whenever I play. Well, besides for like when I'm in front of somebody, then I. Uh, then I write it down in my notebook. But uh, if I'm if I'm playing by myself, just online, I'll just talk to myself and uh, be like, okay, this is what I think he's gonna do. Um, hopefully, I actually have the the home edge that I want. Then I guess after this, I'll uh, I'll do the EV training of the home edge because that won't take me long either. So we'll go do. Oh, and if you guys aren't, oh, so this is the one that I actually need as a female, so that's pretty cool. Um, so if you actually need the judge, it's at the battle resort, and you need to hatch 100 eggs, or 20 eggs before. So we got the first one, and the second one are both perfect for what I need. So, uh, if anybody wants it, Whoever's the first to comment that they want the, uh, I'll, I'll, I don't care which one. I'll probably give up the female one, yeah, so if you, if you comment first on this video that you want the Hoenn Edge, I'll give this uh, female Hoenn Edge to whoever tells me that they want it on my YouTube channel. So just comment and be like, I want the Hoenn Edge, and once it's once that one person does it, then it's theirs. Uh, I'm going to keep the male because, like I said, I'm playing a rid of shiny one and I'll want to do a different ball because I, I don't think the Pokeball is the coolest ball that this group one could be in. So, um, cool. I'll cut this video out and then I'll upload it and I'll go ahead and do the EV training video on it. It's going to literally pick up from, like, this is that spot because, I mean, I'm about to start cooking dinner too for when the wife come home. But, alright. Rate and subscribe, and um, comment with anything like you want me to do. So whenever I have some downtime, I can uh, I can make some more, more material, some more videos for everyone.